War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. 
You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? You're James? just... A... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in James. cardiac arrest. Start compressions. James. Get the baby out of here. Move, move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? Don't remember one thing. We need a doctor, not a dead man. Fail to meet my expectations and there will be no Don't look straight into the light now. Cheery chatter. Decorations. May your future be bright toys. This place gives to you. Just like home. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. Just a little further. Come to Daddy. Over here. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Dada. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? 
It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. We experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Oops, I missed it. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just helped with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess! Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things, believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Hey, Wally, I think Paul's gone soft on us. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best happy friend? Happy birthday, Sonny. Who do you mean, dork face here? Happy birthday, dork face. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? Happy birth! I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the Overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Day. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice, sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Hey, happy Good birthday, Rosebleed. It's <laughs> time to top the cake. Annie, wait. Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. All I... I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. How about we share it? What are you, five? Give me that sweet roll or I'm gonna pound you. Oh, 
Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Oh, you were joking. I'm gonna be but sorry. I'm not sure anyone else did. Nonsense. How do you like People that, People always huh? enjoy my little speeches. But what do you, you think you're doing? Leave him alone. That life is not How's it going? Well, you always have... He didn't hurt you. Yeah. Uh, this is supposed to be a party, you Super know? Super cool, right? Fun? You should... This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons. Party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Try Molly, it sometime, Daddy. The gang? My you or me? No way. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to your party. Enjoying yourself? Do you think we surprised you? Happy birthday! I'm sure that Amara never suspected a thing. Now... Get it? Everything's fine. Who I wants hope. to go around all day being oh, called sure, a nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all really are again last night. Good as new. I wasn't worried. You can fix it. Are you all right? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? I'm glad to hear it. Once you start letting bullies push you around, you'll never see the end of it. Come on now. I bet there's someone else out there with a present for you. Your pit right? boy is not anyway, a toy. I'm glad Proper you cleaning and maintenance will ensure nice the device's picture. operation for this what and future generations. Miles? How do you like that pit boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. During the party, what Mrs. Piece of Palmer, junk. I help with the decorations you know. now. Allow me to wish you a happy oh, really? birthday. They're lovely. You did such a splendid job. What about the tunnel rats? Were our rats tough enough? Nice party. Hello, Officer Gomez. Maybe. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, never I'm mind. glad to be here. I, I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people, you know, party. as part of my job. Mm. Plus, well, Snakes are I like cool, right? Jonas? Uh, sure thing. Officer Gomez. Well, it's been one. nice chatting with you. Don't you think you're coming? Oh, never mind. I can't believe my mom made. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. You come to the stupid party. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Because I came to your nice party, party doesn't mean I have to talk to you. Are you Did you know, nice time? the odds of a Vault-Tec shelter failing for you are 1,763,000. 497 to 1.
What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> you sure are. Pip-boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile! Boys and girls have different parts. What is your problem anyway? So... I'm the Overseer's daughter, so what? That like, I get any boring. kind of special Tell me. treatment. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. No, you are not, really. When I started studying medicine, one of the first things I learned was how to spot a kid playing sick to get out of taking a test. You'll do fine. 
It's not so bad. Everyone has to take it when they're 16. I had to, you have to, and so does everyone else. And most everyone makes it through without a scratch. That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Your mother, she... she was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life, about love. But most of all, most of all she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Take care, son. I got out of here. And good luck. Good morning. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? Way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. God, Butch! Why don't you just leave me alone? Let's go. What into are you the gonna do, room, Amada? Amada? Go I'll run show and you tell your daddy time. on us? She think. Yeah. What do you want? Only the baddest gang in Vault 101. Like you don't know. We rule this vault, and what we say goes. You'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes! This twerp needs another lesson! Here we go! Stop it! Leave him oh, alone! Tough guy, huh? Hit him again! Ah! This isn't solving hey, anything! Uh, had enough yet? Nice one, Butch. This isn't uh, solving anything! You're kidding. Uh, didn't you just get new parts This isn't solving week? anything! Yeah, sure did. Uh, but the thing is so Please, old, stop uh, fighting! Uh, my age. Well, I hope it's working Sorry, again. Stop, stop it! What seems to be Damn! Uh, I guess it was nothing. Please, stop uh, no fighting! Uh, get him! Uh, diner after class. The lights, I think. Wait, get him, guys! Stop it! Uh, uh, you too. Uh, uh, well, this uh, isn't solving uh, anything. Uh, yes, I think I'd like that. Uh, this isn't solving uh, anything. Come on, tunnels. Okay, okay, you win. We'll leave the little girl alone. You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. Too long. Whatever you say, I Butch. You're the boss. You. Tunnel snakes just rule. And... Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Fine. Let's go. What is it, Phoebe? Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck.
Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Back off. Here you are, Mr. Brotch. They say the goat never lies. According to this, you're slated to be the next vault Chaplain. God help us all. Ha! Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. 